Good morning. My name is Ron Buganim. I'm the managing partner and founder of the GovTech Fund. Um, we announced the fund at last year's Code for America Summit, so I'm thrilled to be back here uh, to give you an update on what we've been up to, and also, as Jen was saying, sort of broadly what we're seeing in the GovTech space. So the GovTech Fund is proud to be a, a part of this amazing community. Um, government agencies, nonprofits, and citizens um, collectively working on defining that 21st century government. We believe the private sector has an important role to play in that mix as well. And specifically at the fund, we're focused on enabling startups and attracting private capital to the mission of GovTech innovation. So let's focus on startups first. So for those of you we've not met yet, uh, we're a $23 million venture capital fund focused exclusively on investing in GovTech startups. We try to keep things simple at the fund, so we focus on the definition of what our companies are focusing on. And GovTech to us is just simply the technology infrastructure that government agencies use to do their work every day. Another way we think about it is GovTech is really the operating system of government. So what kinds of work is powered by the operating system and what kinds of areas do our startups focus on? It's things like procurement, law enforcement, permitting, fraud detection, budgeting, and on and on and on. Let's turn to the portfolio for just a moment. So in the past year, we've invested in six companies, and we've seen some tremendous velocity even in just the past year that I want to share, just a few points with you. So first of all, we have multiple companies in the portfolio now that are signing at least one agency every day. In fact, across the entire portfolio, the average sales cycle is 86 days, from the day that they make a phone call to the day that they sign a contract. Our fastest deal within the portfolio is two weeks at $290,000 total contract value, which is a big number for a startup. And lastly, one of our startups has seen their revenue grow 16% on a compounded monthly growth basis for the last 32 months. At the fund, we don't just measure uh, performance of the companies, we also measure at a financial level, we also measure their impact. And we only have 180 seconds this morning, so I just picked a few. Uh, one of our startups, one agency uh, customer, is already saving $80,000 a month by implementing their solution. Another start our startup, the agencies in their portfolio have saved over 150,000 hours over the last six months. And another one of our startups, North Miami Beach, which is one of their clients, saved $60,000 or 40% on just a single purchase. So I talked about the startups. Let me turn to the capital side for just a moment to give you a sense of what's happening in the broader space. So as I mentioned, one of the roles of the GovTech Fund is to evangelize, educate, and introduce the private capital sector to this uh, government innovation and 21st century government we're trying to build. And the reason for that is because we think of maximizing impact by the solutions of our startups. When they do that, they need massive scale in order, to, in order to maximize that impact. And that kind of scale across thousands of agencies takes capital. It's why over the last two years, we've spoken to hundreds of pension funds, uh, investment managers, venture capital firms, and the representing over $2 trillion under management to introduce them to this concept of the 21st century government. And that's filtered down at the portfolio level, where we've invested $5 million in our six companies and had a total of $45 million invested alongside of uh, our, our fund by leading venture capitalists, including General Catalyst Partners, Lowercase Capital, Spark Capital. But there's a lot more going on outside of just the companies that we're investing in. There are a number of top-tier VCs, including Andreessen Horowitz, Sapphire Ventures, OpenView Partners, Formation 8, and I can go on and on and on. These are some of the leading venture capitalists in the world who are now have already invested in the GovTech space. So as much as there's been progress and momentum, I just would leave you with a message that we're only in the first inning. We've just gotten started. So before the companies come out and the awardees, I would just leave you with the message of spread the word. The new GovTech is here. And with that, I'll leave you with just to have a great conference. And I look forward to seeing you out in the halls. Thank you.